Alright guys, welcome back to Lakemont. This is RDM and I am bringing you a crop tutorial or a farming overall tutorial. The one thing I want to express first and foremost for anyone new to the game, it's an amazing game guys. It's absolutely stunning, it's absolutely beautiful, and you have a ton of creativity in this game. Alright. Uh, it is available for Xbox Game Pass and is available also for uh, Steam. Um, it is. I recommend checking into it, guys. It's amazing. Please ignore the fact that I am shirtless and I am dirty. I am not completely sure where my shirt went. I have no idea. But um, so farming. You log into the game and you are wondering how to get into farming. Well, the good news here is that immediately when you get into the game, you can start farming. You unlock the plots immediately. You don't need, there's no prerequisites, there's no schemes or anything you need to unlock like other items later in the game. So once you find a place to settle, guys, you can absolutely start farming. And that is my suggestion for you, is to absolutely start farming. And the way to do that is you're going to press uh, E. I'm not sure what it is on Xbox. You're going to press E. You're going to go here to Buildings. You're going to go to Farming. And then you have two options. You have Field and you have Orchard. Okay. Field is what's going to be for all your crops orchards are going to be for your trees like apple trees and such like that so you're going to go ahead and hit field and it's going to bring up this little icon this is your indicator not sure but anyway you're going to click you hold click and hold it's going to show you a square now this is one tile that means one seed can be planted here you're definitely going to want more than that so we're going to make a generous little three by uh three here okay and you're going to release and then you're going to click again. And then that's going to put this field. Now, you're going to say, RDM, why is this field empty? Well, that's a very good question. Because you need to take a hoe. And you need to <laughs> plow it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here. Press E again. Go to handcrafting. And you're going to go to wooden hoe. Wooden hoe takes one log and five sticks to craft. And once you have one, you're going to come up to these empty field slots. And you're going to left click on them and you are going to start plowing them now my worker here is going to also come and start plowing because that is what his job is to do even if i do not want him doing that during the tutorial but as you can see he will come any uh crops any plots you place down they will come and they will do this until and that's all they'll do they won't fertilize they won't do anything until you assign them now um that's not it though okay guys first of all let's just assume that you don't have workers yet so we're gonna get to that in a minute but so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and make a simple bag and the way to do that is you're gonna press e go to handcrafting simple bag is three leather you're gonna go kill three you're gonna go kill an animal get some leather and craft you a simple bag uh by the way all these seeds items bags hoes uh, fertilizer all this stuff can be bought from the uh, gustovia uh, farmer farm trader uh, or in any village i believe will sell them and uh it's gonna be a, you know beginning of the game it's gonna be a little bit to save up sell things stuff like that to get the stuff but you know that's just any normal beginning of the game so you're gonna take your uh simple bag that you just crafted you're gonna press right click on it now it's gonna give you two options field and orchard and this is how you're gonna plant any of the items that you can plant in this game we're gonna go ahead and go to field and then uh, the first thing you're gonna have to do so say you have cabbage seed you can't plant that yet it'll it'll give you the option because this is a season to do it but you will not be able to plant anything without first fertilizing it you can take your fertilizer and you're gonna spread it okay you're gonna spread the fertilizer out and uh, again, like I said, you guys cannot plant anything at all without first fertilizing it. Because after it's fertilized, you need to then use your hoe again, just like you did in the beginning, to plow it. And you're going to actually integrate the um, fertilizer in to make plowed crop plots. Okay. And these are what you then use the seed on. So after that, 
you now have this gorgeous looking field. It is all plowed and it is ready. You're gonna go back to your seed bag and you're gonna right click and you're, uh, it'll tell you what seasons all of the crops uh, come in on and they will have an X if they if you cannot plant them during the season as you can see here cabbage seed I can plant during this season so you're gonna run up do the same thing you're just gonna left click with the seeds okay and you're gonna go ahead and go plot by plot that's why better uh, it's early early game it's a lot better to make smaller crops because you won't have the money to actually purchase all these seeds um, unless you did some kind of grinding or maybe you did like one of those how to start the game with 4,000 coins or whatever, you know, you could buy a little setup for that. So, bam, you have your cabbage. Now, the cool thing about um, this is, so, if you don't have a barn, first of all, you can, again, you can purchase all this stuff from any of the villages. You can purchase the seeds from the farmers, or you can find loose seeds inside of sacks and barrels and things, overturned wagons. As you're exploring out in the world, you'll find some of those things. They have a chance to be in them. You might find some. It's not a really reliable way, though, to get the seeds that you need. Um, now, after you place your field, uh, the thing to remember is, so I have these cabbages. And the cabbages are gonna grow right um but i if say you have like three days in your season it'll grow and you can harvest and then after that season it's gonna wilt up right you're gonna need to plant something else the thing is so say the season ends tomorrow and i just planted this the great thing about this is these will fully grow okay by the next day these will absolutely fully grow if it's season end it will absolutely grow from seeds like this to full plant if it is not the season for it it will have a mid stage kind of like these um oats here this is a mid stage oat so it is not quite seeds but it is not fully harvestable uh quite yet so it'll have this if it's if there's multiple days in between okay um you can use this to your advantage to get crops really quickly okay because you can plant it the day before it expires and have them immediately guys okay so you ain't gotta wait the whole how many ever days you have in between okay now after harvesting this you can immediately use it again so say um say i just harvested all this this is generally what it's gonna look like is you're gonna have these dead looking plants these aren't dead looking because they're, they're you know planted but you're gonna have these and you're going to all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your seed bag and you're gonna plant another fertilizer you're gonna skip the initial step you're not gonna hoe them again but you're gonna just drop the fertilizer on them and then you're gonna replow and it'll come out it'll turn from this into this again okay and then after that you can drop your seeds and you're ready to go again so um yeah, that's, uh, uh, you don't need to water crops. Crops don't need to be watered. After you put the seeds down, there's absolutely nothing you have to do until they're ready to be harvested. And then you can harvest them. Um, the next thing, say you messed up. The thing you have to remember about crops if you're going to be making fields like this is if you mess up and say it's in the way or you want to move it, etc. Uh, you can do it with a hammer, but you have to break it. So you're going to put out, pull out your hammer. You're going to right click and you're going to come to destroy and it's going to highlight this in red. Now if I click this, it's going to, if I hit left click on this, it's going to destroy the whole field. Okay, and so be wary of that because if you're, say you want to move one or two little tiles and that, you're not able to do that. Okay, uh, it's going to take the entire field from you. So say I, you know, wanted to move this whole field, it would be easy because I just left click. I'm not gonna do that but uh, so be wary of that and kind of plan it out of what you're gonna uh, where you're gonna place things when you need to place them my beginning tips for farming is gonna be flax flax sells for quite a bit and you can also make it into linen to make clothes for winter and, and things like that so uh, your villagers and you will be warm during winter because your first winter is kind of a brutal one uh, orchards work basically the same as the fields so if you go back here go to farming and then go to orchard 
you can plant one orchard but you see the orchard takes up four slots four field slots so you could fit four field slots in one orchard slot the difference is once you place that all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring out your iron hoe and you're gonna uh, do it one time and then now this is a orchard plot in the same way how you did the build you're gonna come over here to orchard and find a seedling and then you are going to just drop the seedling there's no need to flaunt to uh, fertilize orchard uh, plots okay guys they will grow once you once you place them they're good to go you can leave them it takes I, I believe it's two years before they'll start producing I can't be exactly positive uh, don't quote me on that but it is a little while before it starts producing guys so just kind of expect that there's quite a few things there's some hops you can make uh, beer and things like that. Uh, apples are for food. There's pears for pears. Um, there's uh, plum trees, all kinds of things, guys. Okay, so that's orchard. So other than the barn, uh, which I'll give you a little tour of real quick. So the barn, here's a threshing floor. This is where you guys can take all the stuff you harvest and turn that back into seeds. So I have some flat, I have one flax on me. Uh, or I have 72 actually, you can um, craft by threshing, you can craft that flax into seed, okay. So I got one, uh, 20 flax seeds from that, a one I believe, I'm not sure what that ratio is, but then um, yeah that's how you're going to get your seeds guys, okay, if you want more seeds. And uh, you can come over here as well, this is how you make flour. You can turn your rye grain, your wheat grain, and your oat grain into flour, and flour is used for cooking. On this side, you're gonna have your workbench. This is where you're gonna make your animal feed, guys. This is oat grain, rye grain, and five straw. That's how you're gonna be uh, feeding your animals once you're sufficient enough to grow all these things. Um, you can make your dwab here for insulating your wicker or wood buildings. Fertilizer can be made out of manure here. Manure is what you get you get from animal pens. You can pick it up off the ground over time. It produces manure. Uh, so that's one way. There's another way to pick up uh, to make fertilizer, and that's going to be rot. Rot can also be turned. Ten rot can be turned into a fertilizer. Poppy seeds in this can be turned. Uh, if you have one poppy, you can make poppy seeds okay, in this. And then this is your basic storage. This is where you're going to make sure where people have the seeds that they need okay they need bags to plant the seeds and they need hose and sickles which are in my resource shed so I can't show you but if you have them in there they will also take those items and they will start planting you also need to have fertilizer in here excuse me sorry that was my phone you need to have fertilizer in here as well too uh, so that your villagers, if you are automating this, uh, your villagers can uh, plant the fertilizer because without fertilizer you cannot have crops, alright? So that is that building. Uh, I'll show you the inside of the mill here. This is a really cool building. The mill makes uh, flour at a better ratio, I believe, than the barn does. Okay, so we got here, we got uh, Fr Frida, Frida over here working she is running the millstone so if we kick her off of it really quickly we can hit craft and then so this is um you make 10 flour for five rye grain here you can make uh 10 or 20 flour for uh five wheat grain or you can make 10 flour for uh five oat grain okay so this is just a better ratio of doing the oat as you can see, once she is done, she will put them in this box until this box is full. If once it hits 100 kilograms, it'll start going into your uh, pro the appropriate resource shed, which it shows you right here. It'll go into my resource storage to be crafted into food. And that is the mill, guys. And that is everything you generally need to know about farming, guys. Uh, my biggest suggestion would be to definitely get farming as soon as humanly possible because you are going to need it it is an important aspect it's going to feed you it is going to clothe you and it is going to feed your animals in turn will make you very very rich and make more money so with that guys please ignore the fact that i have no shirt still um 
Alwyn here is following me on a quest. I need to finish it because he is getting quite in the way. And with that, guys, uh, if you liked the video or if you found any of this stuff helpful, please don't hesitate to uh, leave a like or a comment if you have any feedback. Um, the next video that's going to be coming out is going to be the tenure for Lakemont here. It is a tenure tour guide, so I'm going to uh, do a walkthrough of my whole entire village. And I'm going to be showing everything once that is done. That's coming out real soon. And in a couple days, I'm going to be releasing an animal guide. So I'm going to be showing you uh, everything that has to do with animals, what they do, what they need. Um, how you can utilize animals to make quite a bit of money if you wanted to. Um, and that's going to be coming out in two days, guys. So if you liked what you saw, please just uh, show your support by just leaving a thumbs up. If you want, that's all I really ask. If you feel like subscribing, uh, more power to you. It definitely make my day, guys, but I'll see you in the next one.